As previously reported in this space, while so many of Toronto's domestic homeless freeze on the streets, the same cannot be said for Justin Trudeau's asylum seekers and illegal immigrants. No, these so-called irregulars receive what amounts to the royal treatment because they are not living under expressway overpasses. Rather, they're being put up in hotels that offer central heating, three squares a day, and all the other amenities that come with hotel accommodation. Of course, as we found out the hard way, the people running these hotels aren't exactly eager to talk about their refugee guests. You may remember the encounter we had with a manager here at the Radisson Toronto East a few weeks ago. Take my picture. Hey, hey, excuse me. Take the pic. Take your Hey, pic. hey, hey, hey. Hey, don't take your rebel crap you news out of here right now. Why is it rebel crap news, sir? Get out off of private property. I'll call the police. Good, and then you'll be charged with assault for what you just did. And here I was thinking that the Radisson was in the hospitality as opposed to the hostility business, but I digress. In any event, since it is you, the taxpayer, that's paying for all of this hotel accommodation, we thought it would be interesting to find out just how much it's costing. Well, the Justin Trudeau Liberals, despite their 2015 promises of openness and transparency, well, <laughs> incredibly, they wouldn't tell us what that dollar amount is. So we put in a formal access to information request. Here it is, it reads, provide copies of any contracts or agreements with the Plaza Hotel in North York and the Radisson Toronto East for the provision of accommodation for asylum and refugee claimants since January 1, 2016 to January 29, 2019 and here's the answer we received. Following a thorough search of our information holdings, I regret to inform you that no records were found that respond to your request. What? How can this be? How is this even possible? The Radisson and the Plaza are just two hotels that are now closed to the public. The refugees staying at these properties are most certainly not paying for their rooms. Rather, the federal government is being invoiced. And we're being told no records exist? Now, if that's the case, just then, how are the owners of these hotels being paid? Does some crony from Ottawa drive down to the Radisson and the Plaza each month with a few stacks of $100 bills? Is that it? A cash deal? You know, no records, no pay portrayal, just like how mobsters conduct their affairs. This is an outrage. This is egregious. This is unacceptable. In fact, it's an outright abuse of power. But we're not going to stand for this. We're going to appeal this decision, or should I call it deception? After all, Canadians have every right to know what these hoteliers are being paid because it is Canadians who are footing the bill for these long-term hotel stays in the first place. In the meantime, as we issue our appeal, one thing is crystal clear. Namely, we have learned yet again that when it comes to transparency, this Liberal government is about as transparent as a black hole. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, you can listen to all Rebel shows as a podcast. Please go to therebel.media slash listen.